We reached out to Shane to get his thoughts on Voight and how 2018 is feeling a lot like 1998. Shane joined us now by phone from South Korea, where he's the manager of the minor league Nexon Heroes. Shane, before I ask you about Voight, I have to ask you, how did your baseball journey take you to a manager's job in Korea? Uh, well, I, I coached um, a couple years of the Padres, and I coached the Atlantic League, and then they, uh, they reached out for, to me and asked me to be a coordinator here, run their minor league system, and uh, so I do that too, and I also manage like, their, their top minor league team too. So I know you're thousands of miles away and you're focused on what is going on with your team, but how aware have you become of these comparisons of Voight to you? Um, I haven't, and uh, not really until the last day. Uh, I had a couple guys in my fantasy football league that are here, foreigners, and they posted it and were ragging on me and stuff and saying, you know, it was 20 years ago. So that's kind of how I knew Then you reached out to me. So... I had to do a little research on the guy and check him out. So when you did your research on Voight and you, you saw this muscular guy hitting home runs for the Yankees, uh, A, what did you think, and B, did it remind you of anyone? Yeah, you know, I just looked at his bio and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, he's a mid-late round guy, a football player, uh, played, you know, his years in the minor leagues. Uh, it just uh, There's a lot of similarities just the way uh, it's all happened. Um, the one thing I'm going to give him some serious credit for is that when I came up, you know, I hit a lot of home runs at the end, and we had such a big league that I was able to play. Uh, he's doing it right now with, uh, you know, playoff contention online, and, and it's, it's great to see. You see the energy that he has. I, I love it. That's an excellent point. I wanted to ask you about another similarity. You were 26 in 1998. Voight is 27 right now. What does it say about persistence and perseverance for what you did back in 98 and what he's doing right now? Well, you know, I, I use it as teaching. Um, I have some older guys here, like in the minor leagues, that have been up and down and haven't been successful. So you try to you know, let them know, like, listen, just because pe people say you can't do something, you can do it if you put your mind to it and, and put the work in, and, and it pays off. And I have a few players that are on the big league team here now that are being very successful, so it's, uh, it's paying off, and it's working out as my coaching career, too. You hit 10 homers in your last 51 at-bats in 1998. Eight of those homers came in your last 14 games. Did the confidence grow and grow? Because I think we're seeing that with Voight. With every at-bat, it almost seems as he's becoming a more confident hitter. Yeah, you do. And I, I saw one of the interviews, and he was talking about he knew he was facing Rodney, and he he knows his changeup is his best pitch. Okay, just because you know his changeup is your best pitch doesn't mean you have to swing at it. He said, I was looking for something up in the zone, and I think that's so huge. Just because you know what pitches come doesn't mean you have to swing at it. That, that takes discipline, and, and the more confidence you get, the better you get at that. Shane, the 1998 team was recently honored at Yankee Stadium, and I'm sure you told a ton of great stories and heard even more great stories. But when you think about your role and reflect on being a guy who had been in the minor leagues for his entire career and the impact you had on that 1998 team, how staggering is it to think about that? Yeah, you, you know, in the moment, you don't think of it. You know, you're just one of the guys playing the game, but, you know, when you get back 20 years and you reflect on it, it's uh, it's pretty special. And, you know, to know that you're getting some playing time when you have guys like Tim Raines and Strawberry and O'Neal and Bernie Williams in the outfield, it's, uh, those are pretty good names just to sit in the locker next to you, let alone play with. I know you haven't met Luke Voigt, and you said that you've only recently heard about him, but if you had the chance to sit across from him, you're walking... He's walking the walk that you already walked in 1998. What kind of advice would you give to him? Uh, you know what? I probably wouldn't. I say just because I don't think anything anybody can say can distract you from what you're doing. It doesn't matter like, oh, you're, you're living a dream or you're doing this. But really, you're just playing baseball and you're getting a chance to play. And that's, that's what it's all about. If I was sitting next to him. I'd seriously, we'd be talking about football. <laughs> I bet you would. His brother was a college football player, played at West Point, so that's one area that you could go with that. Yeah. Hey, hey, Shane, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you giving us a few minutes. No, I appreciate the time, and uh, good talking to you again, Jack.